boy Kai Gibson, aka Riz Secrets. And y'all already know what time it is. It's time to drop another bomb on everybody that's watching this YouTube video. Now, today we got a very exciting topic to talk about. Some people inside of this group, y'all saw the description. Y'all saw, hey, listen, Kai, Rich, I'm broke right now. How do I get out of my position to be able to go to the next level? Well, this video is gonna be specifically for you guys. I'm gonna literally give you three things you literally can add on to your arsenal if you are broke today, zero dollars, and you're trying to get out your position that you are in now to get to that next level to where you don't have to depend on the boss. You don't have to depend on the next paycheck that's coming in this week, okay? Now, before we get started with the video, make sure if you haven't yet, make sure you go ahead and subscribe and like to this channel. That way you'll be updated every time your boy drop a fire video. Boom. Now, the first thing I want to go ahead and start with with you guys on, hey, listen, if you're broke right now, you're down and you're down bad. Everything's been hitting you with life, right? And you want to be able to take yourself out that position. You want to be able to get yourself to the next level to where you at least are making enough money to be able to make rent, at least making enough money to be able to pay your car note, at least making enough rent to be able to sustain yourself, right? To be able to hold yourself up, to not depend on everybody else, to not be able to call your friend. Because I trust me, I know how it is to be able to depend on everybody else when you don't have money. You got to call your friend to get him a ride so I can get a ride to work. You got to be able to uh, call your mama to ask them to borrow some money to put some gas inside the tank. I know how it gets. Trust me. All right. I have been broke down to my look. Y'all, listen. I don't want to go into stories. But like I said, y'all, trust me. Your boy has been in a certain point of time in my life to where like I had to depend on everybody. I couldn't depend on myself at all. Right. And I wanted to be able to take myself out of that position. But I'm going to give you guys three key things today that you literally can add on to your arsenal. That's why I like to call it add on to your arsenal. Add it on to your skills, right? And you will be able to take this and be able to take yourself to that next level. And further on down the line, especially if you continue on with this YouTube channel and you subscribe, you hit that subscribe button. I guarantee you within the next 30 to 60 days, you, we, we will not be having this same conversation. All right? So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Now, first thing I want to go ahead and hop on with you guys is the simple fact of when I, and I got to drop a little story for you guys. That way I can compare it to what I'm trying to give you. When I, one thing that I first noticed when I was down bad and I was broke, right? I didn't have that much money to my name at all. As a matter of fact, my account was completely negative when I came down from Memphis, Tennessee, all the way to Texas. But the big difference was when I jumped from Memphis to Texas, even though I was completely broke, it seemed like my friends changed, right? I didn't have the same friends as I did when I did in Memphis, when I was in Memphis, Tennessee area, right? As a matter of fact, when I came down to Dallas, Texas area, I recognized that I had less friends and I had really only myself to depend on. And the people I end up getting friends with inside of Dallas, Texas area, right, they were more on a different level. That's the best thing to say. They were on a different level than my people that were in Memphis, Tennessee. So I came back down. I mean, I came down to Texas. I had less friends, but with the friends that I actually had, they were on a different level. And what I noticed was our conversations kind of changed, right? Our conversations changed for the better. It didn't change for the worse. It changed for the better, right? We started the difference between Memphis, Tennessee areas. We more was talking about gossip right and when i move on to texas we more had like money conversation opportunity conversations that kind of took me to the next level and took my mindset to the next level right that was the main thing on everything right is that they took my mindset to another level instead of shifting on gossip and talking about gossip and talking about everything that's going on in the world we were talking about more money conversation we were talking about more on hey how can I take my business? How can I take myself to the next level? Hey, Kai, I'm doing this every single day to add on. It's helping me out. It's taking me to the next level, right? So I start to engage into those conversations. As I start to engage into those conversations, I notice that every single day my mindset started to change. I'm like, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. K 
Kevin is on this, right? Kevin is on this money frame. He talking about what events he going to. He talking about exactly what he added on to his his arsenal to be able to make him a little bit better each and every day. We're not talking about what Lucy, Mary, and Jack did, right? We're not talking about exactly what they did and what's going on in the world to keep you distracted. Instead, we're talking about us and what's helping us out with our business, what's helping me go to the next level, right? That was the difference. And some people... Some people, when they, the whole point of this, the whole point of number one is to be able to change your friends. All right. You know that your old friends that you hang out with, it's going to be bad to constantly hang around them because they, they know the old you. They know the old you, right? And majority of friends, what, what the problem that happens is majority of them end up bringing up the old you and you never end up, you, you, you're never able to end up evolving, Right. Because they're so used to why you're around them every single day. They're so used to the old you. When you try to correct yourself and change yourself for the better, they're going to still bring up the old you. Because understand that somebody that is equal to you, everybody loves being equal to you. But the moment that you start surpassing them, the moment that you start surpassing them, they're going to try to get you and they're going to try to bring you back down to their level. Hold on now. Hold on now. You need to come back down here. Right? Right? And that's just not what you need, right? You need people that are building you for the better. So my whole thing is you want to switch out as many as old friends. If they're if they are if they are not friends that's trying to take you to the next level, you need to let go of all of them. You need to cut all of them off, right? And create you a new circle. Create you a new circle. Of course, you're going to be alone until you find that new circle. But what I'm telling you is be alone if you have to. Be alone. As a matter of fact, the most times that majority of people end up growing out in this world is during isolation. Isolation. They are by themselves. They're able to think to themselves. They're able to. They're able to take themselves to the next level because they are pinpointing exactly what they are doing wrong. Okay, understand that. So there's nothing wrong with being by yourself. But what I'm saying is, change your group. Change your group that you're hanging out with. Some people inside this live with Kai, I hang around my friends every day. How exactly am I supposed to change the group that I hang around? There's multiple things. Get yourself involved inside of a group. How do I get myself inside of uh, involved inside of a group? Start going to events. All right. Start going to events. Start hopping on webinars. Start hopping on calls. A lot of these things are not even, they don't even cost you. A lot of these things don't even cost you to be able to get yourself in another room. If you are the smartest person inside of the room, right? I know y'all heard this before. If you are the smartest person inside of the room, you are you, you, you're in the wrong room. You're in the wrong room. All right? So that's number one. I found out to switch your friends. All right? If your friends are not taking you to the next level right now, you need to cut all of them off. No exceptions. No apologies. Find you a new group that's going to take you to the next level. All right? Period. If you want to be able to, if your life is that important to you, you need to cut off your friends and find you another, find you another section. Oh yeah, you need to find you another section. You need to find you another section at the lunch table. You sitting with the cool kids. You need to be sitting with the people that's making money. Find you another table at the lunch day. I, I mean, at, uh, <laughs> at lunch. All right. Yeah. <coughs> oh dang. Y'all all know exactly how it was at lunch, right? We all was, we all was uh, in school once upon a time. And everybody had that cool table that everybody was sitting there. But I'm sitting right here telling you that the cool kids, the cool table, the people that got the J's and looking fresh and all that, it ain't about that. It's not about that. It's about taking yourself to the next level. Who's going to give you the most information to be able to take you to the next level? And you find out that table and you make sure you go sit down at it. All right? So that's number one. Number two is a skill. A skill. Find you a skill. All right, a skill or a trade. Something that you do that not a lot of people can do. All right. Those are three things, right? A skill or a trade. Find something that not a lot of people can do that you can. Those are three things I need you to be able to look for inside of yourself. Skill trade, and the thing is about this is nobody can take you. Nobody can take this away from you. The world cannot take it away from you, right? A skill or a trade you will forever have until the day you die, right? So I need you to find a skill or a trade, right? 
And around that skill or trade, I need you to be able to find some type of way to be able to provide value with this skill or trade. Find a way. If you are not able to create value and give it out, you cannot ask for anything in return. Remember that. Remember that. If you cannot create value and give it away, you cannot expect to ask for anything in return. Okay? So I need you to find a skill, a trade that you're good at. I need you to be able to create value around that skill and trade. All right? A lot of people are asking me right now. I'm pretty sure... How do I create value or, or, or uh, how, could I, how do I create value around a skill that I have? Well, your skill most likely provides value in itself, right? If you have a skill on a, a, a electrician, right? AC, you work on AC units, right? Understand that they have a whole school to be able to train you, right? This is going to be a this is going to be a brain buster right here. They have a whole skill to be able to train you. A whole school to be able to train you exactly how to work on ACs, right? What if you took that skill, right? Provided value. You tried to provide value to as many as people as you can by showing them exactly doing what you do. Oh, yeah. It's a lot of people out here that can't even afford to go through school. But they're sitting right here watching your videos, right? Whether that's videos or whether that, that's the best thing i I, I persuade people to be able to do right. I, I try to get people to post content on what they do because that's the best way to get the value out to the world. Right. So if you was a person that worked on ACs, how could you provide more value to the people while doing ACs? Right. If you want to even gain more customer, a more customer base to be able to uh, work on their AC units. Right. And you're busting out plenty of videos on showing people exactly how you do what you do. The customers you interact with. How your customer service is, right? That is providing value to a lot of people. Understand that, right? A lot of eyes are going to be able to see that. Therefore, a lot of people are going to be calling up that line. Understand these things, okay? So I want you to find a skill or a trade that you have. And be able to create value around it. Give that value away. And then you'll be able to ask for something in return. That's just how the world works, everybody. That is how the world works. Next thing is, if you are broke, this is going to be the hardest thing for you to hear. But I need you to hear this. If you are broke, no parties. No spending your money on, on irresponsible things. All right. <laughs> irresponsible things goes as clothes. All right. Clothes, uh, uh, fancy g gadgets, all right, whether that's watches, anything materialistic, you don't need to be spending your money on. You don't need to be going out. You don't need to be popping bottles. You don't need to be having any of these things going on right now. Why? Because you are broke. All these things inside of the world, all these distractions inside of the world are meant to make us broke. Understand it. They're meant to take our money. This is the simple reason on why somebody can go hit. Uh, 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 the lotto for a million dollars or more than a million dollars and after a couple of months they're back broke again because we got so many distractions in the world hey give me your money here give me your money there give me your money this that your money is going to be taken away in an instant so what i need you to do is i need you to buckle down for six months that's all it's going to take i'm giving you a challenge right now buckle down for six months no parties no stepping out. No buying clothes that's, that, that's, that's not going to bring you an outcome. Clothes are not something that's going to bring you an outcome unless you are producing clothes to be able to sell the clothes. That's the only how they're going to bring you an outcome. Other than that, buying this Nike jacket right now has brought me no outcome. It had a price tag on it, but it has brought me no outcome. The only how this jacket is going to bring me outcome right now is if I simply am a sponsor by Nike right now. And I say, hey, listen, y'all, if y'all like this Nike shirt right now, the link is in the description down below. If you want to be able to get this jacket, then this jacket is now bringing me outcome. But other than that, don't buy anything that is not bringing you an outcome. I need you to go hard for six months. I need you to grind. Until you get yourself out of this position. Those are the three things I want you to be able to do. And I guarantee you, if you apply those things, what's going to happen is you're going to constantly think about ideas 
every single day. Because first of all, you have a circle that's bouncing around the right ideas. You have a circle that's bouncing around the right ideas to you. So I promise you, your mindset is going to definitely change because of the circle that you're in. All right. Second thing is a skill and a trade. Somebody can never take these things away from you inside of your life. If I fire you today, you still have that skill. You still can take that skill anywhere and do anything with that skill. Understand that. And the third thing is buckle down and it's time to ground hard. It's time to go in. I challenge you to six months of hard work and dedication. No going out. No spending money on the things that's not going to bring you outcome. No focusing on girls. Because understand that the girls are going to come. They're going to come. All right? I promise you. The ladies are going to come. They're going to always be here. Do not get distracted. This is especially for my fellas. Do not get distracted by what this world is, 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 is showing inside your face. That is the whole point of them showing it in your face. Understand that you have a goal that you're trying to get to. Right? There's a straight line to your goal. Straight line to your goal. The world has so many distractions that they're trying to turn you left and right so they can distract you from getting to where you really want to be to. Oh, it's girls over here. Oh, that's a party going on today. Oh, here's a new, uh, this a, this a, this a new pair of J's that's coming out. They're trying to keep you distracted. What I need for you to do is take six months, double down, no parties. No spending money on anything that you're going to end up that's not going to bring you an outcome. No focusing on girls. And I guarantee you're going to just gravitate to this goal. And you're going to come back to this video and you're going to say, thank you so much, Rich. You done did it. But that is going to be it for today. I hope y'all enjoyed that video. And I hope y'all got some knowledge from that video to be able to take y'all to the next level if you are broke right now. All right. Those are three things that I know that will help anybody in this world. To be able to take themselves to the next level and get themselves out of the position that they are in right now. All right. Y'all already know what time it is. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe and like button, and you'll be updated every time I drop a new video.